Should be able to take some time here. Put it right behind them. There we go. Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick series of 1v1 games. I haven't really warmed up yet. Um, just playing a few matches early in the morning, trying to get uh, some positioning uh, tutorial kind of, I don't know what to call it, but just talk about positioning in 1v1s and, and how to uh, play around opponents and stuff like that and what they're doing and how to read them. But yeah, let's get into the matches and see how they go. All right, we got Savvy. I don't know if he plays ones a lot, but I'm pretty sure he's a decent player in 1v1. We'll have to see how he plays. So far, I'm just gonna see what he does here. Get that to the side. Oh, just off the post. It happens sometimes. I might have to save it. Almost. Let's keep the pressure. Um, you wanna make sure you always take those good shots. And you have the chance. There we go. He turned to do an aggressive turn, which should give us maybe a chance to shoot. Uh, a little bit too early of a shot. Probably could have uh, taken more time there. Oh, interesting. It's like sliding around. Make sure I hit that off the side so I can follow it off this bounce. Oh no. I messed up. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> I thought he was going to miss there too. Yeah, he's got a lot of points just for me uh, taking shots and him getting really easy saves. If I just took more time on my shot, he was probably going to panic or something. And then I ended up turning off the line because I thought he would turn, but then he ended up driving away. That's okay, they took an early shot. I can go away for the boost. I don't want to jump for this. Because he'll just turn on it like that. Should be okay. There we go. Sit with this again. Even though I have no boost, I want to make sure this is, stays safe. Should we get the boost from him as well? There it is. He took an early shot there, which actually could give me a chance to, to break away. Almost. Did the same thing again. There it is. Took an early shot off the uh, the challenge. Um, a lot of players sit down there and wait for you, just because it's a really difficult shot to make. So, oh my god, <laughs> this is why I don't like one v ones anymore. Because it turns into that stuff, like where you just drive <laughs> around the ball and just like wait for something to happen. Which doesn't really happen in uh, 3v3 too much. He's probably going to back off here. There we go. Okay, so he doesn't really challenge and then I have possession afterwards. So I, I noticed that a lot. So I just like use that to my advantage. He's backwards, which is fine. He takes control again. He's very defensive, but it's like gonna wear him down at some point. Oh, that was a weak shot. Why'd I do that? There we go. It's very it's interesting. He's like very overly defensive and overly aggressive. Might be fast enough. He's got really good defense though. He can save a lot of those top corner shots. Yeah, I don't think he's going to challenge these. Oh no. It's a little bit ambitious to try and do that little uh, double touch thing. And I waited way too long to challenge that I think as well. Because he was already uh, positioned behind the ball. So if I want to get it over the crossbar I have to challenge earlier.
Pop it over him. Hopefully I can control this and take a shot. There it is. Make sure I take a really slow approach to it. Make sure I take my time because I do have like that extra time since he challenged so aggressively. If I just pop it over him. I'm going to have to get this boost on this side just because of the, the way the ball bounced. Could be a goal too. Oh, he just turned around me. The last second. Should be okay. He still has no boost, so off that challenge, I can just get this pad here. Surprised he didn't turn on that. Which is also still fine, because he has, like, low boost. Should be fine still. We'll probably go for the boost, which is fine. Probably take some take some pads here while he uh, tries to take a shot. An early one at that. He probably doesn't know I have a lot of boost here. Oh dang, he did get it over me though. I should have went a little faster once again. I played him there with the amount of boost I had. I knew I could beat him. Uh, but then I didn't uh, actually take action. <laughs> so. And once again, he went early, passing it to me. Should be able to take some time here. Put it right behind him. There we go. Yeah, I can see that he was ready to pre-jump. He's been doing that for all my shots, so I just placed it a little more behind him. Uh, which allows me to take that shot in an open space. I should be down. So... I haven't really uh, played much today, so this is a bit of a nice warm up early on. He has no boost to be able to get around the ball here. And the angle he took is going to take him off the ball, so. Or off the goal, I mean. There we go. Nice little flick. Ended up getting in the overtime. Uh, a little really aggressive on that uh, zero boost attempt there. I thought I had the angle. Uh, covered on the net, which is why when he hit it over to the side, it ended up being off target. But uh, I was pretty close chance on him on that kickoff. I think if he held a little more boost off of the kickoff, he could have maybe used it to get around the ball. Alright, so it, it is early in the morning, so we're going to keep getting the, <laughs> the same player, unfortunately. Um, so you can't really see like different play styles. I just gave the ball back to him as well, by the way, but that's fine. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I ended up really realizing it was already on target, so I backed off and I thought he was going to get that uh, touch after I missed. Or I guess backed off. I think my flip reset. It's probably going to be a goal too. I don't know why I thought being aggressive there would be a good idea. I should have went for the back corner because I had time. Um, but I, I tried to pinch it over him. Uh, since I, I knew he was going to turn on it. Should be a goal though. Oh, it was too slow. Didn't get the pinch on the ball that I wanted. Oh, he hit me. There we go. He's giving me, he's giving me a lot of space to work with. There we go. Just had to wait for him. Wasn't talking too much there. Just waiting for him to make a decision. Uh, there's not much you have to really do here until until he backflips. Because he is behind the ball that entire time. So he has to do something to change the position of him on the ball in the car. Make sure I get a decent 50-50. And then I'm going to sacrifice my positioning a bit here and get some boost. I hit the ball a little bit too hard. So I should be able to boom that off. I might go right in. Oh. Off the side. No, keep doing that. Come here, Savvy. <laughs> Gotta stay with this. That was really close. Um, a little bit too aggressive on one of the shots that I made there. 
his shadowing is very um, copy paste, I would say. Like he does the same kind of shadowing every time, and I can take advantage of that more. I just don't, I haven't seemed to uh, find the opening. His pre jumps are very, very good though. Like he knows where the shot's coming from. There we go. So yeah, same thing. He just shadows uh, back post. Waits for me to make a shot. But that's why I'm taking a little more time with my hits. Um, trying to change out the positioning. I knew he was going to take an early shot. That's why I didn't go for the boost. I still didn't make it though. I think I baited it in too long there. I should have boosted back faster. Should I get this boost? And there it is. He almost went for the corner, just like I did. And then uh, I was able to get a flick around him. Got a good 50-50. I'm reading his uh, his forward kickoffs just fine, but it's these corners that keep booming into the ceiling. Once again, I'm just going to sacrifice positioning here. So he overcommitted on that one. going to take my time. And there it is. Just got enough of a lift that it would go over his head to um, get it on the crossbar down. He's changing up his kickoff a lot, which is actually really good for 1v1 players. Like, not a lot of them do, actually. It does back off a lot and give me a lot of space, which I'm not used to. Oh. To get this boost, see what he does with this. He's very heavy on the dribbling, I've noticed. Why well, I'm just trying to change up the timing of when I challenge. I should have scored that for sure as well. I just drove away there just to make sure he doesn't try and demo me. <laughs> trying to demo him here? Oh, he actually landed on me. Very early turns. Um, I think he's trying to get. He's a little bit desperate here, maybe. Make that awkward enough. Just make the little touch there. <laughs> That's really hard to read for a, a defender hitting it off the uh, the last second instead of pinching it, like trying to get a bounce off the the ball touch. This might be rough. rough. Yeah. <laughs> Not the kickoff I wanted for sure. Um, and people say, oh, it's one's kickoff goals, but every single. 1v1 kickoff goal, I would say, is avoidable. Just like that. See how I change it up so I can... Can uh, get the save or uh, the possession off that instead of what was happening before. It booming into the ceiling. So the way he tried to chip that and fake it, he uh, hit it a little bit too wide the one time. And so I knew he couldn't make a chip the other way, so there was no faking. To waste time here since he's giving me all this space. Even when he hits this, it should be going out to me again. There we go. I might have missed though. Yup. <laughs> what a play, dude. Quality 1v1 plays right there. <laughs> I thought I had 40 instead of 19, but you know. It is what it is. Looks like he's going to go right here again. He goes for the boost, it's fine. Oh, never mind, it's not. Oh, that was a good touch. So one thing I couldn't get ready for with zero boost was uh, him landing under the ball like that, off my flick. Should be fine. Let's see what he does here. It's going to be a nuisance to sit right on the ball. And just uh, wait for him to overcommit for the boost. And then we take the shot. Sometimes it's that simple, boys. <laughs> just wait for them to uh, be aggressive. Boom! <laughs> They'll probably follow this really close. Yeah. And he will jump because he has to. It's only like 
you know, 10 seconds left. People get people get really uh, really telegraphed near the end of games when they're down goals. But it's important um, when you're down goals not to become telegraphed against them mid-game, especially in a 1v1 game when you have so much time to work with. Because if you're just pushing into every challenge and like being really really aggressive, people can read that really really fast and then make make adapt like adaptations to counter you pretty quickly. All right, we got Ty. Season nine Dunk Master. I'm I'm not, I'm not thinking this is. Um, fine, I'm just make sure he has a a boost. He'll flick it. I'm not sure if that's Ty not Tyler. That's what I was trying to say. By the way. Okay, I'll just make a 50 that's decent for us and then score. Saw his over aggression, just waited for him to push into me. Make a good wall for myself. And you can't really uh, tell people how to do that, that's just something you practice and get used to. There it is once again, got a free, uh, free kickoff off the wall. Not too much to say there. Just a good 50-50 off the, uh, the kickoff. Once again, and this time I got the proper pinch. The other game, I uh, haven't had that happen in a while, but like where you try to get a, f a hit off the ball. And if you don't have like at least like 10, 15 boosts to get that extra speed. Um, oh, so like that. You need, you just need that extra bit to really get it going. Oh, you just passed me the ball. I didn't get the boost though. He did back off. Oh no. He pre jumped me. No. That'd be a goal, yeah. Because of that way that he uh, chipped my car, unfortunately. Ended up getting knocked out too far. And my first, my second shot was horrible. <laughs> I definitely could have done something better there and just held control in mid. Because I had all the space in the world. I think I'm going to touch that back to me now. He has no boost. Oh, he jumped. I take my time here. Is he, uh... There we go. I didn't want to commit to that. He, he had uh, no boost off that spot. And perfect top right corner. <clears throat> That's what you need uh, in that position where he's stuck backwards. Make sure it's placed in a good spot. Even if he saves that, uh, we're in a really good spot. Just because he's uh, going to have to save it in a really awkward place where he has to pop the ball or something. Or go up the wall and throw it off. And his car is going to be out of position. So it all just kind of adds up to being more advantageous for us. Oh my gosh, these kickoffs for me are just <laughs> not doing so well for this guy. Just stay aggressive on this. And since he's not focusing on the boost, I can just take it. He might flick this immediately. There we go, I got the boost, that's fine. Might be able to score this. Might not be fast enough. You can probably get that. But he did did make it really awkward for himself. Because he didn't save it in a way that his car can be um, repositioned off of the save. He probably could have caught that a little better and then um, brought it out of the net in his corner instead of uh, side flipping. Just because it's, it's so... Um, I don't know what the word is. It's so natural for people to want to side flip those or like flip to the side. But in doing so, you're putting yourself at a position for about two seconds. And that ends up making me able to like reposition on the ball and beat him in positioning for another shot. All right, for the final match, we got KP. Which I don't think I've ever played before. Um, so it should be interesting. Let's see what kind of kickoffs he does and stuff. So far, so, so good. Got a decent save off that. He's flipping everywhere. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god, what is this guy? <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> that was so wacky. I 
I I have no idea what that guy was doing for the last like 30 seconds of the game. He was just flopping everywhere. But I don't mind. Uh, that was a good air dribble uh, into the bump. Nothing to really to say there. Those are pretty much unsavable at this point. Should be able to get back for this. He might take an early shot, which is fine. That makes me that makes me be able to save it. Dude, what is this guy doing? Is this is this his play style? It's not very efficient. <laughs> I think I missed it. Oh, it's in. Okay, cool. <laughs> this guy's flipping and flopping everywhere. I've never seen this before. It's kind of funny to watch. I think he's just like memeing or something because he doesn't want to be on the recording or something. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. But you're still going to be there, buddy. Okay. Well, looks like we're going to be uh, <laughs> having a quick ending to this game uh, and the video. But um, basically just wanted to talk a little bit more about like positioning and stuff. And like as I was warming up in those games, I started to feel a little more comfortable. Definitely not the best idea to just jump into these matches. Uh, not warm up or anything, but sometimes it's good to see like a, a difference in... Like how I play at my full capacity to just like warming up. I don't know if this guy's joking around or not. I can't tell. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to <laughs> what to say about this. This is hard to commentate. He's just kind of flipping and flopping around. There's not really any way to read what he's doing because there's like there's so many errors that are just like instinctually there. Yeah, that's an easy scoop. He's just flipping around. I don't know. I might just cut. Might just cut this one out. At this point, because it's just uh, <laughs> probably not entertaining to watch. I don't know. Well, that has to be the weirdest game of uh, 1v1 I've ever played. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in another video of Jacob and I messing around in 2v2. But for the time being, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later.